I, I don't have to tell you what that means. You shouldn't be on the internet if you don't know what that means. It'll take your internet vibe pass away. Hello, I'm Matty from the 1975 and I'm going undercover on the internet. It's actually me. This is actually me. Twitter. Here we go. Honestly, how does Matty Healy not get whiplash during every concert? Easier without a mop. When it's like this, it doesn't, you don't feel it. So it's kind of, all right. I'm always changing my hair because I just have loads of identity crisis. Yeah, having long hair can, can be a lot of maintenance. So, you know, I'm not really that into it right at the moment. I don't need hair to be washing. How does Matty Healy find the time to be happy when he's constantly singing songs that need so much sad emotions? God. Good question. I'm not very happy to be honest with you, but I think that happiness is this destination that we're taught that we're, is so important. I think that happiness is great and it's nice and, and it's good to have moments of happiness and joy. And I think the constant pursuit of happiness teaches us that when you're not happy, you're wrong. And you're not wrong, you're just alone. I wonder if Truman Black writes songs like Kerouac books, you know, Hemingway, write drunk, edit sober, Kerouac, write drunk, never edit. That's a, that's a nice tweet. Unfortunately, I'm not as decadent as neither Hemingway or Kerouac. I've tried, but I just became a smacker and it was very boring. I think that there's a lot of mystique and eth and myth in creation. And I think that I'm more interested in kind of a scientific anal analysis of why we feel these ways. The way that I write is kind of like partly very fluid and then partly very thought out. You know, I'm never nailing the Benzedrine on a typewriter, which would be dope, but never, you know, really my vibe. I'm in love with everything you've released for Music for Cars so far, but I have one question. Will the, the 1975 be releasing anything more in the vein of old music for cars in the near future? It's cool if you don't too. I love hearing your progression. So the question is, will we be releasing music in the vein of what Music for Cars was on the EPs? I mean, I think that's kind of a bit like the record now. It's kind of what we were going for a bit. I mean, we kind of like started up our old, old band drive like I do again recently. So we're kind of making music for that. So that would be even super old. You'll like that, I imagine. Okay, that was from at Manic, by the way. At Cynical Internet, question from Matty Healy. The 1975 has never really been a political band. What made you guys decide to broach the subject? Kind of related follow-up. I was at your last MSG show and it was 85% females. Why is that and is it okay to be a male fan? Okay, there's a lot of questions. First question about being political. I don't even know if we are that political. I don't know, it's a hard question. Like we're in a time and we're in a context and I suppose like if you... Well, okay, you're saying we never used to be. I think that we used to be quite inward, but the inward with perspective for anyone I think even if you grow as a person gets a bit at least narrow or boring so I think the outward perspective looking at the world documenting that that's what the artists that I really admired did and I suppose I aspire to be as great as them and why is it mainly women at our shows I mean 85% is a very specific statistic so you've been doing your homework but um I think it's <laughs> It's fine to be a male fan, bro. It's cool. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Must be a good place to pick up girls. I haven't really thought about that, but come to my shows. Quora. Quora. I don't even know what that is. How is the 1975 creating global climate change awareness? Well, I don't know. It's all changed now in the pandemic. I've gotten rid of my show. I don't have a live show anymore. All of my big screens and wake up and all that stuff. That's all gone. So I'm inventing a new show. I mean, I don't even, you know, I've got to adapt to a new world. Well, what we were doing was planting a tree for every ticket that was sold. We were trying to make every show carbon neutral. We had educational facilities at the front of our shows that could teach you about real recycling. So there was lots of things that we did. But the, the important thing is, is that there's lots of things that you can can do. What genre of music is the 1975? Yes. What's your favourite the 1975 lyric? There's a lyric on the new record that says, I won't get clothes online because I get worried about the fit, but that rule doesn't apply to my relationships which I thought was quite funny. So that's probably my favorite at the moment. I don't know, I don't know, it's all lines, isn't it? It's, I have a different one every day, but um, I try not to think about it too much. Can you compare the 1975 to the Beatles? Well, there's four of us and one of us, I don't know, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not willing to do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna clout chase the f***ing Beatles. You're all right, I'll move on to Reddit. Reddit, okay. Reddit is bringing us the true or false. The 1975, this is like a headline from Dexter Webber. The 1975's Mighty Healy played bass on stage with Green Day at age 13. That's true. That is a true story. I was at the front of a Green Day show on the barrier, as I was everywhere. They pulled me up on stage. I played with them. I told them that story about 20 years later. 
they didn't give a f it's actually true we were all very drunk and at the uh, at some hotel in hollywood they weren't listening but it, it's a nice full circle moment for me at least wikipedia do i even have a wikipedia i've not looked at our wikipedia since like the first album i bet you there's some chaos on there they passed their early days covering punk songs in a local club healy was originally the drummer but took over vocals after the previous singer left to start another band yeah it's pretty much true han was going out with a girl that was in my form so she came over to me and said my boyfriend wants to start a band and he knows that you play drums so i was like okay go and tell him to talk to me that's been a whole defining thing of what han's like anyway but that's another story and then we all met up and I was the drummer and I was singing. And then we had this singer called Elliot who was in a band called Airship. And his band was kind of pretty cool at the time. So he did one rehearsal with us and he thought, F this bunch of mugs. So he left and he went and joined editors in the end. He's in the band editors now and we're still very, very close friends. But yeah, I was originally the drummer, but then I met George and changed my life. So we're on to YouTube. Anyone here the subtle third eye blind semi charmed uh, semi charmed he's put semi charged life but it's semi charmed kind of life or semi charmed life reference in the guitar he's talking about the song me and you together song I suppose a little bit I mean that song is just like the one of those songs isn't it really you know like it's like busted and it's like the soundtrack to American Pie I mean to be honest with you with that song like for me it's way more like vapor trail kind of ride it's way more like kind of British post shoegaze pop but American people like really really also had a kind of very similar melodic cadence happen in all of that kind of like i don't know what it was it wasn't pop punk but it was like i don't know like but you know i love i'm not a snob like i love everything i love like goo goo dolls i love like you know i reference everything instagram from your gloomy girlfriend she put why do you look like this on that photo of me yeah that was where basically when we did the birthday party video like we kind of like created an avatar of me so i started like basically replacing my face and my hands with like a digital face and a digital hand so that's why i look like that because i got like a cgi filter on my face but maybe it'll all be cgi by the end on my instagram somebody has put on this photo of me in this coat actually that i drew myself what does this mean do they mean that what does that mean? Oh, well, that's happening on the coat. I, I, I don't have to tell you what that means. You shouldn't be on the internet if you don't know what that means. It'll take your internet vibe pass away. What do you mean, what does it mean? There's no meaning in it. It's a photo of some legs. It's like my legs. Come on, don't do that. Right, well, who's the next one? Matty, should I get modernity has failed us or love it if we made it tattooed? F bro, I don't know. Like, modernity has failed us? There you go. There's an actual answer. I don't know. You do what you want. They're both valid options next photo where can i get those boots though camden surely i mean those are just camden like new rocks they're just they're just like the shoes of the cyber goth i think like i i remember seeing people wear them all my life so they shouldn't be too hard to find that guy one two three four if that is your real name which i very much doubt okay i have finished i hope that was enlightening goodbye